Executions have always been present throughout the history of humanity, but for special crimes as well as, time to time, depending on the circumstances, the convicted people were condemned not just to a slow and agonizing death, but to the very real hell on earth. You're watching Flip Side of History, the other side of the known history. Let's begin. Scafism, A monstrous execution that lasted about two weeks. The condemned man was undressed and placed in a boat with the second boat covered on top, leaving his head, hands and feet outside. Then the unfortunate person was given honey mixed with milk and the boat was placed in a pond or a lake. The smell of honey lured the bees and the foal attracted flies. The insects began to lay their maggots, which slowly began to devour the body of the fated person. Steak This kind of execution was practiced almost everywhere. A sharpened stake was inserted into the condemned person's anus and then slowly and carefully pulled on the victim. The most skilled executioners would impose the stake so that the victim could live for at least two weeks, if not more. On purpose, they would wet their lips with water or even give them a drink to keep them from dying. Elephant's Execution It was mainly used in India and Sri Lanka. A trained elephant, having pinned the condemned with his foot, simply slowly tore off his limbs with his trunk. More rapid variants of this execution were trampling by the elephant or tearing the unfortunate with the elephant's tusks. Wild Animals The Romans were mostly interested in this during gladiatorial fights or simply as an encouragement to others who had violated the law. The condemned might be tied to a pole in the arena and then wild beasts were released. Another option was to be thrown into a cage with wild beasts. Regardless of the option, death was long and painful. Crucifixion on a Cross Initially, only the most, so to speak, hardened offenders were subjected to this execution. A condemned person himself was forced to drag the cross to the place of execution. Then palms were nailed to the crossbar. A support was put under feet to prevent nails from slipping out. On a cross, the condemned took a very long time to die. Depending on the place of execution, sometimes death came to the unfortunates after three weeks. Again, to intensify the agony, sometimes the hanged were covered their lips with a wet cloth to delay death by thirst. Bamboo Execution It was invented by the Chinese, who were very inventive in this field. The condemned person was placed on the sprouts of young bamboo and fixed firmly in position. The bamboo sprouted and passed through the unfortunate person's body, causing simply inhuman pain. Ling Chi Also a Chinese execution, multiple cuts. The idea was that the executioner would cut off a small piece of skin from the body and then cauterize it in order to avoid the blood loss of the criminal. The number of cuts was determined by the court. There have been cases in which the most notorious criminals were sentenced to as many as 3,000 cuts. Such an execution could last for over a day or even more than one week. Tearing This method of execution actually has a number of variations, but the final result is the same. The condemned was torn to pieces. For example, by tying them to two squares, which were dispersed in different directions. Another variation was the quartering, which was either the same variation with horses, only there were four of them, and each pulled in its own direction, or the executioner simply cut off the limbs one by one. Finally, another method of severing was by trees. The unfortunate person would be tied to the tops of two boat trees and then released, with the result that the person would be torn in half. Wheels the condemned person was tied face up to a wheel, with his hands and feet attached to the spokes. Then the limbs were completely broken, and the unfortunate person was left on the wheel until he died. Freshing or ripping the skin off while alive. The execution was practiced in the East, but was also popular in Europe. The condemned person was either first treated with a special device, a Spanish tickler, that cut the skin into small pieces, and then it was easy to remove the skin, or the skin was just peeled off after the cuts made by the executioner. Execution by rats A cage without a bottom was placed on the belly of the condemned men, in which rats sat. The executioner would bring a fire to the cage, and the frightened animals, trying to escape, would chew on the condemned man's belly. Boiling This kind of execution meant either boiling in hot water or burning alive in huge amount of oil. The condemned person was placed in a cauldron, under which a fire was built, until the liquid began to boil. The unfortunate person had to suffer inhuman agony, and after the boiling, the condemned person died quite quickly. Red Hot Metal Oddly enough, this was a Russian invention. They poured molten tin into the condemned person's mouth, 
As a rule, death came in the first minute or so. This execution, in general, was only forged for money counterfeiters, with whom no one had ever been particularly ceremonious. Copper Bull the condemned man's tongue was cut off, and then this person was placed inside a copper bowl, after which a fire was kindled. The higher the temperature became, the greater the torment of the condemned man. However, he could not shout, so he simply beat on the walls of the bowl, which, by swinging, caused great excitement in the crowd. Torture with meat This execution was also invented by the Chinese. The condemned man was placed in a cage and fed daily with unleavened boiled meat. In the end, death came from poisoning with cadaveric poison, since the meat was not salted. This execution could last up to a month, depending on the strength of the condemned man's body. Cutting in half The victim was lifted upside down and began to be sawed in half. The brain was given enough blood to keep the condemned person alive for long enough for him to see what was happening to him. Bury the life In ancient Egypt, this execution looked different. The condemned was walled up in a pit, where he died in terrible agony. The Chinese, on the other hand, were the first to use a burial alive. Simple enough, but terrifying enough, when the condemned was placed in a coffin and buried in the grave. When the unfortunate one died, no one knows. Asphyxiation with ash The condemned person was thrown into a pit, filled with ashes. Then special mechanisms lifted the ashes into the air. The condemned person lived until his lungs became completely clogged with ashes. This death by asphyxiation was perhaps one of the most cruel. Suspension by the rib The condemned person was suspended on a special hook by the rib, with his hands and feet tied beforehand. The victim could live for several days and usually died from blood loss or thirst. Marrying a dead man The condemned person was tied to the corpse face to face, tied as tightly as possible and then simply placed on the ground and left alone. The decomposition process was also reflected on the condemned person, and the maggots began to occupy his body as well. The unfortunate person was intentionally exposed to the sun, given water and even fed so that he could hold out for a long time. The execution was not over when the person died, but when it was impossible to distinguish the two corpses. Burying in the sand This execution was used by those who lived in desert areas, the condemned person was simply buried with his hands and feet, chained in the sand, leaving only his head outside. The unfortunate person would die from insect bites, scavenger birds and dehydration. Dropping on one's head It was also sophisticated eastern execution. The top was shaved off, a sausage of dough was placed around the perimeter of the shaved person, and then boiling oil was slowly poured into the bowl. The dough prevented the oil from spreading, and the condemned person died in terrible agony. Spanish Dye A modern execution that is actively used now by the Colombian drug cartels. It is also called the Colombian Necktie. The condemned is made an incision on the throat, through which the tongue is pulled out. As a rule, this execution is given to those who dare to report some information to the police, or simply became a traitor. Red Tulpine This is one of the worst executions that the Afghan Mujahideen inflicted on captive soldiers. Ten such cases are known in the world. The execution was carried out as follows. The soldier was injected with drugs so that he felt no pain. Then, all the skin was slowly and carefully pulled up to his head. The result was a bloody man with no skin, which was tied around his head. After the drug wore off, the soldiers died in terrible agony. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to Flipside of History and leave a like.